Hi everyone, today is Women's Day. I wish all our women viewers a happy Women's Day. Now let's go on, solve some math problems. Mrs. Go baked a total of 350 cheese and chocolate muffins. Just take a note, 350 cheese and chocolate muffins, which means cheese and chocolate muffins together is 350. After giving away 80% of the chocolate muffins and 75% of the cheese muffins, she was left with twice as many chocolate muffins as cheese muffins. Find the number of chocolate muffins that Mrs. Go gave away. So that's the question. So if you look at this problem, you have to first find out where there is a correlation between the two uh, items, that is cheese and chocolate muffins. See here, she was left with twice as many chocolate muffins as cheese muffins. When did this happen? After she gave away 80% of the chocolate muffins and 75% of the cheese muffins. So we are going to start from the last step here. She was left with twice as many chocolate muffins as cheese muffins. Whenever we have more than less than twice, the one the quantity that comes after or later, that is will be our reference. So let's start off with cheese muffins, right? Let's assume that this one unit is the amount of cheese muffins that was left. In that case, chocolate muffins would have two units because that is twice as much as the cheese muffins. Now, after giving away 80% of the chocolate muffin, if she has given away 80% of the chocolate muffins, now what is left here should be 20%. Right? For chocolate muffins, two units represent 20%. So let's just take uh, uh, steps. In steps, we'll figure out how much it is. Four units will be 40%. Six units will be 60%. Eight units, 80%. Ten units is 100%. That is the total number of um, chocolate muffins. So one way is to going through the steps, but uh, if you want a shortcut, which normally we do, is directly multiplying this by 5. 5 times 20 will make it 100% and 5 times 2 will give you 10 units. So 10 unit represents 100%. So here this 2 unit represents 20%, which, from which we figured out to represent 100%, it should, chocolate muffin should be 10 units. So let's just complete it and this 80 the 80% 80 of this raw 8 units here we will mark them so we know that these are the ones which were given away now we turn our attention to cheese muffins after giving away 80% of the chocolate muffins and 75% of the cheese muffins she gave away 75% of the cheese muffins. So what is left is 25% of the cheese, cheese muffins. So let's start. 25% is now represented by one unit. So one unit represents 25%. And we know 4 times 25 will make it 100%. So times 4 on both sides. So 4 units represents 100%. So there is already 1 unit. We need 3 more units to make a total of 4 units. Here again, we will mark these 3 units with um, some um, color to show that this is what was given away. Alright? So now, we this whole thing plus this that is equal to initially 350. We are including the ones that were given away plus the ones that was left for both chocolate muffins and cheese muffins because she baked a total of 350 cheese and chocolate muffins. So together they are 350. So we know that this is the total is 350 and 10 plus 4, 14 units are there. So 14 units represents 350. So we know that one unit will be equal to 350 divided by 
14. And if you do the math, you will get one unit is equal to 25. Now the question is, find the number of chocolate muffins that Mrs. Go gave away. She gave away 80% of the chocolate muffins. In other words, here she gave away 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 units was given away. So 8 units is equal to 8 times 25 because 1 unit is 25. So that is equal to 200. So Mrs. Go gave away 200 chocolate muffins. Hope this was easy to understand. Um, if you have any doubts, just drop a message in the comment box. I'll try to get back to you. So now we move on to see how we can solve the same problem using algebra. For the benefit of those who missed or skipped the previous uh, section, I'll read the question once again. Mrs. Go baked a total of 350 cheese and chocolate muffins. After giving away 80% of the chocolate muffins and 75% of the cheese muffins, she was left with twice as many chocolate muffins as cheese muffins. Find the number of chocolate muffins that Mrs. Go gave away. So here we have two quantities, cheese muffins and chocolate muffins. All right, so let's represent them in terms of uh, alphabets, right? Chocolate muffins is represented by X. Cheese muffins is represented by Y. Now we know that in total, Mrs. Go baked 350 cheese and chocolate muffins, which means X plus Y should be equal to 350. And that is our first equation. Let's note that down there. All right. After giving away 80% of the chocolate muffins. So now she is left with 20% of the chocolate muffins. Keep that in mind. And 75% of the cheese muffins. So she is left with 25% of the cheese muffins. So it says she was left with twice as many chocolate muffins as cheese muffins. Let's try to write this relationship here. See, we have 20% of X and 25% of Y, which is left after she gave away. Since she gave away 80% of the chocolate muffins, she is left with 20% of, this is X is the chocolate muff, total chocolate muffins. And she gave away 75% of the cheese muffins, which means she is now left with the remaining 25% of the total chocolate muffins. All right. Now let's simplify this before we go on to the relationship between these two. Let's simplify this. 20% of x can be written as 20 over 100 times x. Similarly, 25% of y can be written as 25 over 100 times y. Now you know that 20 times 5 gives 100. You can cancel this. And 25 times 4 gives 100 here. So simplify that. We get 1 by 5 times x. And here 1 by 4 times y. Now we further simplification because this can be taken as x over 1. And x is the numerator. So you, we multiply x with 1. So x times 1 is x. 1 times 5 is 5. So x over 5. Similarly, y over 5. So these are the two quantities we have sim simplified. Now we need to apply this relationship. She was left with twice as many chocolate muffins as cheese muffins. All right, this is the left of chocolate muffins. This is whatever is left of the cheese muffins. Now, we'll go ahead. So we know that this is equal to twice of this, All right? Just, uh, so how can we represent that visually? Assuming if this is two of these blocks, then this is equal to one block, which means this is greater, more than this, right? But to get an equation, we have to make them equal. So if you want to make them equal, the thing is you add one more here, or in other words, times two. So when you do times two here, then this quantity will be equal to this quantity, all right? So that's what you're going to do. So that makes these two sides equal. And you know that 2 and 4 
gets two can cancel the four here, uh, leaving with a two here. So x over five is equal to y over two. Now we need to find out the number of chocolate muffins, which means we need to find out the value of x. So I don't need y. So what I'm going to do here is show y, what is the relationship with y and x. y is equal to 2x, the 2 cross multiplied and it's going on top, 2 times x is 2x over 5, that is equal to y. Now, we know the value of y in terms of x and we did that because we can substitute it here. So substituting the previous value, y is equal to 2x over 5 in this equation. When you substitute that, what do we get? x plus and y here is equal to 2x over 5 is equal to 350. Now, we know that we have to find, uh, here the denominator is 1. We need to find the LCM of the, those two, right? 5 and 1, we need to find the LCM, which means here I will multiply times 5 and times 5, both the numerator and the denominator. So I will be left with 5x over 5 plus 2x over 5, which becomes 5x plus 2x over 5, which is equal to 350. Now, 5x plus 2x is equal to 350 times 5. When you bring the 5 over here, it becomes multiplication. So, times 5. So, that is 7x is equal to 1750 or 1750. x is equal to 1750 divided by 7, which will give you this number x is the total number of chocolate muffins but she only gave away 80 percent of the chocolate muffins so we will have to find out what is 80 percent of 250 which is x right that is like 80 over 100 times 250 so here you we know that we can cancel off these zeros this zero and this zero as well so it will be ending with 8 times 25 which is equal to 200. So Mrs. Go gave away 200 chocolate muffins. I hope this was clear. If you have doubts, do post in the comment section. If you like the video, please do like, uh, no, click on the like button below. And if you want to see more videos in future, you can subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon so you will get notifications whenever I upload a video. And if you have suggestions for me to make videos, videos, please let me know. I will do my best. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye.